Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is right around the corner and I wanted to do a shop my stash type of video where we take a look at some unconventional eyeshadow palettes that would fit kind of the theme of Valentine's Day even though they're not really Valentine's themed. This video is actually inspired by Heather Austin. I will link her original video in the description box down below so go check out her video as well. But today we're going to be talking about unconventional Valentine's Day eyeshadow palettes. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. If you guys are new here, my name is Stacy. I feature unfiltered makeup opinions and honest reviews. Please consider subscribing before you go, liking this video. And today we're going to talk about unconventional eyeshadow palettes. These are ones that are not necessarily themed like pink and purple, but they do have a really beautiful, sultry, Valentine's-y, or you could get a Valentine's-y type of romantic eyeshadow look. So let's get into this video. I have some indie makeup. I have some mainstream makeup. I have a lot. I'm actually really excited to film this one because it really made me think of some eyeshadow palettes that one, aren't really talked about a lot, but two, are in my collection that feature some beautiful like eyeshadow looks. So let's, and actually, all of these eyeshadow palettes that I pulled out, you can actually purchase right now. And some of them you can actually purchase like in store. So I will leave an asterisk if you can actually still purchase them online or in store, or maybe you have them in your collection. So definitely pull those out. All right, so let's talk about like eyeshadow palettes that you could actually walk into the store and purchase right now. So we have three eyeshadow palettes that you could actually technically walk into the store, purchase right now if you if you wanted to get your hands on them, if you don't have them in your collection. So I wanted to talk about those ones first because the other ones you would actually have to order online. Or like I said, maybe you have them in your collection. So the first one that I am pulling out is the Huda Beauty Rose Quartz Palette. This eyeshadow palette was released at the end of 2020 or the beginning of 2021, somewhere in there, by Huda Beauty. And it was like one of the first eyeshadow palettes that she released that had like multi-chromes and duochromes in it. She had some beautiful like multi-chrome, multi-dimensional shades. And this is definitely one of those like neutral eyeshadow palettes with like a pink mauve twist to it. So she does have some like more neutral shades in here. She has that weird like... Remember we saw it in the Naughty palette, but this like weird like jelly textured <laughs> eyeshadow. But this eyeshadow palette, if you're the type of person who loves a really easy blendable formula, very highly pigmented like metallics, and then also some like duo chromy shades in here. This is a really beautiful eyeshadow palette for Valentine's Day, and it transitions really well into the spring months. I think it retails for like $65. You can buy this at Sephora right now. Um, you can also purchase it on the Huda Beauty website, or if you purchase this palette, take it back out, because this is such a beautiful eyeshadow palette to work with for those like months right that we're in right now where it transitions really nicely into a springtime palette it has this like it has really beautiful purpley pinkish tones in here but it also has these like neutral tones as well and again like i said it has these duo crumbs that are just so stunning so like the the foil shades are really easy to apply on the eye you can use a brush you can use your finger there's quite a few different metallic -y shades in here one of my favorites is Moon Magic and also Cosmic Love. One's more of a purple duochrome shade and the other one's actually more of an iridescent like pink shade. So I'm just going to pop these on the lid so you guys can see like how it looks on the lid. But like it is such a pretty iridescent shade and it comes with such a great like range of like pinks, purples, and neutrals. It's such a great like Valentine's looking eyeshadow palette. I definitely think that this is like while it's not themed for Valentine's Day it definitely has a reminisce of Valentine's Day with the 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 colors that are in this eyeshadow palette. All right, another eyeshadow palette that I actually have in my eyes as well would be the the Rock Soleil palette. I truly feel like these palettes are so underrated. I should do an underrated 
makeup video because this eyeshadow palette is totally underrated. It actually comes with two sides. It has an all foil side and then it has an all matte side. This palette tends to run a little bit more warm toned, but the reason why I pulled this out because it is a neutral color story. You can buy it at Ulta Beauty or wherever Laraca is sold. But the reason why I pulled this out is because there's some really beautiful rose gold shades in here. Some of my favorite rose gold eyeshadow looks I get are from this palette because it's such a neutral palette with those rose gold foils in it. And honestly, if you want to create a very romantic rose gold eyeshadow look, go to this palette, pull it out, create a really beautiful rose gold eyeshadow look. You can even create just some of those basic like smoky eye, brown smoky eye looks. And the foil shades in here are just so easy to work with. They are so pigmented. They are so metallic on the lid and they look absolutely stunning just across the lid in general. And while this is more of like a neutral palette, it definitely has that warm twist to it, especially with those rose gold foil shades in there. And it makes such like a beautiful rose gold eyeshadow look for Valentine's Day. It's not purples, it's not pinks. Yes, it's neutrals, but it has that rose gold tone in there, which it's just so stunning, especially during this time of year. And it's a great neutral eyeshadow palette if you're looking for something that is like super neutral. So if you have this eyeshadow palette, pull it out because it's it's so pretty. And the other one that you can actually walk into Ulta and purchase right now or even online would be Lust for Dusk from ColourPop. This one is actually kind of a mix of warm and cool tone shades. You have some like browns in here. You also have some oranges. And then you also have pops of purple. And literally the theme of this eyeshadow palette is lust for dusk. So the theme of it is like sunset. So it's more oranges, purples, darker, deeper tones. You have some like pinky purpley shades in here. You have this really beautiful duo chrome that's called Miser. It does a shift from a pink to a like blue to like it's really beautiful. But this eyeshadow palette is themed after a sunset, dusk. What do you see at dusk? You see beautiful oranges, purples, deep reds, and that's what this eyeshadow palette is. But there are so many shades in here that you can transition into a really nice like deep sultry purple or a deep sultry orange eyeshadow look that honestly is just so stunning for Valentine's Day. This one is available at Ulta. I believe it retails for like $22. But honestly, like I could see so many gorgeous like eyeshadow looks being pulled together with this one because it is just dusk, sunset, deep sultry tones and you can create like really beautiful like Valentine's -y eyeshadow looks with this as well. So those are all eyeshadow palettes that you can actually purchase like right now if you guys are looking for something that's a little bit out of the box but offers like a like a really good color story for Valentine's Day but also beyond in my opinion. And then we have some independently owned makeup brands. If you have these, pull them out as well because they do have a really great theme to them. And the first one I wanted to talk about is the Sigma Enchanted palette. I actually have the mini because this one was one of the it was a Kelly Gooch collection and it came with the Enchanted Mini and some brushes, but this is a really beautiful like condensed version of the Sigma Enchanted palette. This one is definitely more pink toned and it also has some warmer mattes in here like a burnt orangey red, a really deep, deep, deep like brown shade, but this one's more of a warm tone than a cool tone. And then you have a really beautiful rose gold shade, another like purpley almost pink rose, like pink shade that's like foil. And then over in this corner, you also get a purple as well. So while this isn't like love written across it, you can actually create some really beautiful like pink and purple eyeshadow looks. And they're very like, honestly, it reminds me of the packaging where it's like purpley pink eyeshadow looks that you can create with this one. And it's a really beautiful palette. The mattes are very pigmented, very, very blendable. This is like the condensed version, but the full version even has like a really beautiful green in it. And it's such a stunning palette. I like this palette. I like pulling it out during these months because it is very like spring feeling, but it also feels like very Valentine's-y. And it just, the way that they chose the shades for the mini version, you can go lighter, more like airy with your makeup, or you can go more dark and more sultry with your makeup. And it's not just one monochromatic look that you could get because of the way that they arranged these shades. I think it's a really beautiful palette. If you're looking for something with a little bit more shade range, but also offers those deep, dark, sultry tones. And if you even like greens, 
we have the Muse palette from Cosmic Brushes. And this one actually has like some purples in here. It does have those mauvey pink tones and then it also has some really beautiful green tones. So like if you look at the packaging of this palette, it is a flower. Literally, it's like a peony flower is what it looks like. I'm pretty sure it's a peony flower. But the whole packaging is reminiscent of the colors inside. And when I saw this palette, I was like, this would actually be a really beautiful like Valentine's Day palette because you could do like a green pink eyeshadow look. You could do even just a whole purple look. You could do like a burnt brown eyeshadow with just a touch of pink on it. Like this does offer quite a bit. I actually believe, I think I had this, this eyeshadow palette in my neutrals with the twist because like greens do translate neutral quite a bit depending on how you wear them. Certain types of greens can translate really neutral like the deeper darker tones of green and this would just be such a pretty like if you did a whole green smoky eye with like a pop of pink in the corner that would be beautiful for Valentine's Day. If you did like purple even just like these mottier tones but there's like a whole plethora of like shades in this eyeshadow palette and it is so pretty. All right last palette. This one actually is really unconventional and I don't know how many people thought about this palette when they were thinking of like Valentine's Day, but we have the Little Ghost palette from the Halloween collection that Aniela Kanikvist launched in October of 2023. And this is actually a red, orange, purple with a little bit of blue in here. But when I thought about like unconventional palettes that you could create some Valentine's Day looks with, if you really truly want to do a purple look or a red look or even like a pink look, this palette right here actually has a lot of those options. And I mean, it's it's all mostly purples. You have some cool toned blues in here, and then you do have this really beautiful row of like reds and oranges. But honestly, if you think about it, if you did like a red and some dark purples with this on the inner corner, you could have like a gradient of red to pink on your eye that would be so beautiful for Valentine's Day. And you could use those colors to create some really beautiful eyeshadow looks. Even if you use the red as a halo eye and then that pink shade and just popped it on the inner, like on the middle of the lid, Valentine's Day right there from a Halloween palette. Like who could have thought you could do that with a Halloween palette? But the the Halloween palette from Aniel Kanikvist. This one is the little ghost version. This one's more like purple orangey themed. And yeah, it might throw you off that it's like Halloween themed, but honestly, you could create some really beautiful Valentine's Day looks with this eyeshadow palette, even though it's like Halloween themed and it has those purple shades in there, even the orange shades. Like, can you imagine like, okay, let's step it back for a minute, but you could take this palette if you really like colorful shades, for Valentine's Day and create a sunset look. So think of a sunset, like what we were thinking of for Lust for Dusk. This one's more muted. This could be like your very poppy, colorful version of a sunset. And it would be absolutely stunning to have some oranges, purples, reds, and that pop of pink. And you got, you literally have a Valentine's Day eyeshadow look with this. It is a really fun pa palette to play with. I love playing with it. If you have this one, you could definitely create some really beautiful like dimensional Valentine's Day looks as well. I think all of these eyeshadow palettes, they offer a different variety of different shades for you to play with. Some of them are more colorful. Some of them are more muted. Some of them are a little bit more grungy, but you can take the purples, the pinks, the neutral shades in any of these eyeshadow palettes and create an eyeshadow look based off of your, your own personal makeup style. There is my list, there is my collection of eyeshadow palettes that you could pull out for Valentine's Day, create some really beautiful sultry looks or like colorful looks, or even just if you're looking for a classic pink and purple eyeshadow look. These are all unconventional eyeshadow palettes that aren't labeled love or weren't marketed as like Valentine's Day palettes. And some of them don't even have like your conventional like Valentine's Day like eyeshadow color story, but you can still create some very beautiful looks for Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day dependent on your style of makeup. Thank you guys so much for watching and staying tuned to the end of this video. If you like content like this, please consider subscribing before you go and hitting the thumbs up button because it will help me. And I hope I get to see you again. Bye!